We're about to make so much money, it feels illegal. The Green Bay Packers are headed to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders, and we have to bet this shit. It's a get it all back night for a lot of you, but guess what? We're getting it all back, and then some. But before we get it all back, you need to subscribe to this channel immediately. It's for you, not me, but also for me. For everybody, really. So hurry up. Now I want to have a thousand bets for tonight. I do. But as of right now, I only have two absolute bangers that we can all be proud of. All of us. No matter who we are. The first one is as obvious as obvious can be. We're talking Christian Watson over 20 and a half yards longest reception. That's minus 110 at DraftKings. As I was going to put this one in, it went from 19 and a half to 20 and a half. That's how you know it's going to hit. Probably in the first quarter. Most likely on the first play of the game. Here's the thing. The haters are going to say that Watson only played 26 snaps last game. And he's hurt. And blah, 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 blah. It was a beatdown. He should have caught more balls, whatever. None of that stuff was his fault. It was his first game back from injury, so the Packers were trying to ease him back in. You gotta respect that. They look out for their guys over there. But here's the thing, I think Watson might be ready. Why? Because he caught two balls that game, and one of them went for 24 yards. That would have cashed this bet. Guy wasn't even 100% and he went 21 plus yards on one of the two catches, which is all we need him to do tonight. I get that the Raiders have given up the second fewest passing yards in the NFL this season, but whatever. They still give up big plays. Last week, Joshua Palmer and Keenan Allen cover this number. The week before, George Pickens and Calvin Austin did it. The week before that, it was Gabe Davis and James Cook. The week before that, it was Brandon Johnson. Smart JP Ron also had a 20 yarder that game, so there's also that. All I'm saying is, the Raiders give up 21 plus yard receptions all the time. Like multiple dudes every single game. And if there's anybody on the planet that can do it tonight, it's Christian Watson. I'd be shocked if it didn't happen on the first play of the game. Now obviously we can't just roll with Watson since he's gonna catch on the first play of the game. Then what the hell are we supposed to do for the rest of the night? Don't worry, I got your back. That's why we need Luke Musgrave over three and a half receptions plus 135 at DraftKings. This one is perfect. Musgrave left last game with a concussion, but he logged a full week of practice, so he's good to go. Hit didn't even look that bad. He's fine, probably. Since he's fine, I think he's gonna play a ton. In the two games before last game, this guy played like 85 plus percent of the snaps. He's the guy in Green Bay, tight end wise. That's important because we need him to be on the field because you can't log receptions if you're not on the field. That's just how receiving works. Everybody knows that. And if he's on the field, Jordan Love is gonna find his tight end. We saw him do it over and over again last week. Hell, the backup caught four passes after Musgrave left last week. The tight end is involved in Green Bay, but like sneaky involved, not too involved, just enough. For that reason, Luke is going to be fine. I think we'll even get like a bullshit reception too, like on a screen, where the guy gets thrown down for a loss, but we still get a reception. I love those. And not for nothing, the Raiders might be a team where we target tight ends. In week one, Adam Troutman caught five balls. That's a season high for him. Another tight end had two receptions that game for the Broncos. The next game, Dalton Kincaid caught five balls against the Raiders. That was a season high for him. Dawson Knox even caught a couple balls that game. The very next week, Pat Fryermuth caught three balls. That's a season high for him. Are you starting to see a pattern here? I'm just saying, tight ends do dirt against the Raiders, but not too much dirt. So three and a half at plus 135 isn't a big deal for Musgrave, but it is a big deal for us. This actually feels pretty easy. It could be the sneakiest bet of all time. I don't know. Now that's going to do it for this episode. But that's not it for this game, not by a mile. I'm gonna go live with Randall at like 4 p.m. Eastern time today to hit the button for a little bit. We'll talk odds jam, we'll talk football, we'll talk about all kinds of stuff. Then, after that, a little bit closer to kickoff, like probably 30 minutes before, we're gonna hit the button again right on this channel. So hurry up, subscribe now. I'll see you then.